Hey guys, back again, got another bonus hunt for you, and today we've got about six games to crack at it, seven actually, including Lost Relics, so um, everything's more or less between a dollar and two, um, had to do a deposit, unfortunately, um, it was a bit of a rough day out yesterday, so I didn't really have too much of a start and balance, only $311, so plus 400 means 711 is that balance that we're trying to get to, um, to break even, so seven games... $102 each should be good enough. Lost Relics is uh, up first, and that's going to be on a $2 stake. Um, and as I said before, everything's sort of between a dollar and two. Two being the highest stake. Thought we'd get kick off with it because could get us uh, exactly where we need to be. Lost Relics, going to have to open up heaps of chests. Well, usually... Alright, got a wild on the board. Mind that there. Mind you, it's always better if it fits a little bit closer to the middle. Yeah, gonna need to open up another chest here. Four more spins to do it. Captain Xeno's Earth Adventure, first time playing this one out here today, um, hopefully that it's going to be a little bit more fortuitous, 50 bucks we just managed for that $2 stake on Lost Relics, so yeah this one's going to be a little bit different, hoping to get a little bit more than $50, remember 100 bucks each game to break even. Four spins here. Yeah. 
That premium sort of, that one, that orange octopus fellow, sort of reminds me of uh, like the ripoff of um, Pirates of the Caribbean villain. Villain turned hero. Spoiler alert. Fifteen bucks. Alright, not the start we uh, envisioned, or we needed, although we still have five more games to go, and I'm hoping some substance will come. The Last Sundown, on a dollar twenty stake, cost $86, I'm hoping we can get this back. I mean, most of these slots, I mean, how do you think they came up with them? Night is falling. We better part ways, little bro. We have a world to save. Alright, here she is. Another. Yeah, and you can watch out for those axes. Um, providing we're going to get two more symbols from this last spin. Oh, yeah, we will. Oh, no. How come it didn't give? That's a shame. Needed axes. Not enough axes uh, on the last sundown. Uh, four more games to go, and if I must, I must admit that these later, later four games are a little bit better than the, the top three. Templar Tre Treasure, Doghouse Megaways, which I've been keen as to play, uh, Buffalo King Megaways, and Golden Genie. Temple of Treasure. Ten spins uh, can't go too far astray. We're not looking too hot so far. So a win should a big one here get us back in the direction. Multiply is coming up with only four spins to go. Oh, I needed a ten there. What can we what can we muster here? Not much. Where are those mystery symbols at? Surely we're going to get some mystery symbols here soon enough. Premium for 10 bucks. Ooh, Jack's 
And maybe a queen on two or an ace on three might bring it through. Ooh, full line of nines. $48. Living multiplier. And this thing's still going, look at this. And it looks like we might even get a re-trigger. Wowee, so buckle up here guys, we've got another 5 spins, the multiplier is already at 12, and by the time I finish that sentence, we're back to 3 spins. Full set of 9s for $23. Queen, ace will help, maybe a queen on 2, or that purple premium on 1. Got 9s, queens, and that purple premium floating around. There are the queens, there's that 9 on 3 now is where we need. Hanging out for 9 on 3. All that purple shield on 1, we could have needed that one as well. 17 multiplier nonetheless, and we've got 2 more spins. Okay, what does that take us to? Last spin, 160 with a spin to go. Wild on. Wild on there as well should help us. Oh, no more retrigger, no more spins. All right, but oh, yeah, 185. So uh, with all that, um, it's putting us in the right direction. That's the most important thing. We were looking pretty sad for this 185. We've only just now got to 266 with three games to go. Um, again, we do need more than $100 from each of these games. Doghouse Megaways, especially on the volatile version, you never know. Couple of those blue dogs, I love those ones, but I need to fill up the screen. We'll get another wild on there at least. Oh, there it is. So we got a wild on two, three, and five. And a spin to do it. So two games, we'll have to do it here, um, Buffalo King, you never really know with this, uh, gonna need a bunch of these buffaloes I guess, or Golden Genie maybe if we can just get that to tick on for a while, um, the longer that game goes the better really, it's not really a set amount of spins, it's just as soon as those wilds leave the screen really. Jeez, five spins to go here. You're gonna have to pull something out here. Did the bonus bar on this for 120.
A few more drop downs, please. Jesus, $2.16. Yeah, pretty sad, $28. Um, it means, I mean, there's a silver lining. With that $28 means we're up at 304 which means we only need $407 from Golden Genie on a dollar stake to break even. Now I'm sure it's been done before. I'm not going to say the magic words, but I think we all know what I'm thinking. It's going to go big. Genie jackpots. Get amongst it. First spin, finally getting some reward. And again, I'll repeat it, so as, as long as we've got at least something on the board, it may be another wild to, to, to help us here out now. So as soon as we've got a wild on the board, it's just good news, eh? Just means that the game keeps going and there's going to be more wins with more multipliers. Jeez, I'm really hoping that we get one now. So, $101.50 from Golden Genie on a dollar stake. Uh, can't even be mad. Can't be mad at that. 100, 101x, always take that. Um, not too happy about Buffalo King Doghouse. The last Sundown or um, Captain Zeno's Earth Adventure. Um, Lost Relics pulled 50 bucks on a $2 stake, but apart from that... Um, not too much good news. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get Dark King, and unfortunately, we couldn't get the W. 7-Eleven turned to 4 6 um, So, yeah, a couple of good days, a couple of bad days. It is what it is, and um, I'm really hoping we can bring it around for you. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone enjoyed the content, and until next time, we'll, we'll see you later.